Yo, what's going on guys? So, you know I haven't been uploading for a while because I've been doing a lot of other stuff recently. Just please don't mind it. But, uh, so today we're talking about Bedrock Edition, which I play. I don't play Java Edition. Now, I'm not talking about the Console Edition or like Pocket Edition. Now, if you play on those, you might just want to skip this video. This is not for you. But if you play on, Win if you play Bedrock Edition, on PC which is Windows 10 edition but not Java edition then this video is for you so you know in 1.16.201 like the new render dragon which is like a graphic a graphics engine which it was released and uh, because of that a lot of shaders are not working and uh, we have finally found a working shader now it is on MCPEDL it's really popular website for mods, skins, texture packs, shader packs, seeds, servers. You can find all of them on there. I'll leave a link in the description for the shader pack if you want to download it. And this is the first shader that are actually supported for the render dragon. So let's see him. But before we start, you may please want to subscribe and maybe leave a like on the video for good luck of 10 years this is i'm not giving a promise but who knows maybe it will work so hit a like hit the like button subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you don't want to miss out on any other video and hey comment down below what what other type of video you want me to make and maybe i'll heart your comment maybe i'll reply to your comment let's get into it Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to open up open up your browser. It could be any browser. I am using Chrome and you need to search bar and type in mcpedl.com and then just click enter. The website will pop up. Then the first thing that you need to find is the texture packs one. So you need to go to the texture packs, scroll down for the shaders pack you need to look for sh the shaders and click then when you're here you need to find the dexton shaders vers version 3 which supports render dragon it's already written up there you need to click on that massive shout out to dexton mods for making this making this shader pack he worked really hard on this because you know it's hard to make mods and shaders so go support him he has a youtube channel go subscribe to him he also has discord if you want to go to his discord server and yeah that's it you need to find the download button of for the shader just click on that it will take you to this place and you can see it's a media fire link so it doesn't have like those weird annoying ad fly or link vertice they're just annoying to download dude i don't know and then you just have to click this and then media fire will pop up then there's this huge download button click on that it may open a window like this just close it out and the download will start when the download is finished right there just click on it and it will open up minecraft it will import it and yeah you're done and let's check out this shader okay so once it has been imported to minecraft and the minecraft is open all you want to do is go to the settings you want to click on settings then this will open you need to find global resources click on my packs you want to find dexton shaders which is right here and click on activate that's it it has it is active now and if it shows a tick that means it is all good no errors and if it shows errors maybe just delete it and reinstall it it would be good then you need to go out it will show you loading resource packs and then it would be gone then click on play now just create a world so let's just do it now you need to keep holiday creator features on i'm pretty sure you need to do this and additional modding capabilities and i don't think you need creation of custom biome and uh, then you need to come to resource packs if you want other people to also like see the resource pack you need to also click on that i'm pretty sure you already know that 
and then you want to find dextrin shaders 3.0 and click on activate now when it's activated and then just click on create and wait for the world to be created okay so when you spawn in you're gonna see something like okay no i was in water that's why i was seeing it like that but you want to come out and look at that first first take a look at that sun like when you like look at it it gets like bigger and when you look away you can see it's smaller and like you can see how much like more colorful minecraft looks like right now and whoa the hotbar like like look if i just look at the hotbar it looks like different actually so that's cool and um, there's a couple of more things that it has changed first we'll come to torches you can see in our hand it also looks different but if we place it look like it is kind of different and it is lo like look at the smoke that's coming out it's like more circular and like more just better it's really minor but it's good also with the lava um let's look at the lava and boom look at that it's like more realistic like how do i tell that uh, like it's a lot more like lava-ish i guess we can say and not just that there's more um i think this will be the last thing which is the water where we spawned in like you can see the water is more clear and if we go down in it like it gets blue like how do I explain this? You need to download the texture pack to experience it yourself. And like it's just a lot more colorful. And yeah, that's the shader pack. I'm pretty sure it also works on pocketation and it has like a little bit more realistic than this one. But hey, that's what you get, I guess. But no, um, I'm pretty sure developers are starting to like update their shader packs. I think they will. And we will get more realistic shaders like in the future. But I guess this is what we have to do. I'm not saying this shader is bad. Um, it's just like a little bit less like realistic which is not bad at all. Like he worked hard on this. I am gonna props to him. He worked really hard on this. You can see how much more saturated the grass looks like more brighter. It's just better but yeah that's that's the shader i really hope you enjoyed it if you did smash the like button hit that subscribe button and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye